Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. After a really busy reInvent season that included a multitude of launches, new instance types, new EBS volume types, new database options, and lots of new machine learning services and features, let's start 2021 with three more. First up, let's talk about Amazon Cloud Search. The big news? We updated the existing search instances with new instances that give you better availability and better performance. Any new cloud search domains that you create are going to automatically use the new instances. Your existing domains are going to be updated transparently and seamlessly over the next couple of weeks. So to me, this is a great example of how improvements to the AWS cloud often happen behind the scenes and for your benefit with no action on your part. This update applies to all five instance sizes across 10 AWS regions. To learn more, read the what's new. Next up, a new tiered pricing model for Amazon Simple Q Service, SQS, that's based on your monthly usage. I announced the beta 2 version of SQS way back in 2005. I just checked my blog post, actually found a typo there. Since that launch, we've added a lot of new features, and today, almost 16 years after launch, SQS is still a central component for scalable distributed applications. You still get 1 million requests per month for free. Under the new tiered pricing model, the per million request charge drops after 100 billion requests per month, and then again after 200 billion requests per month. Once again, to learn more, read the what's new. Next, let's talk about a really nice enhancement to EC2 autoscaling. As you probably know, this service already allowed you to create autoscaling groups that made use of up to 20 instance types. With the update, you can now use up to 40 instance types. This gives you access to additional spot and on demand capacity pools. It's going to reduce your operating costs if you're using spot. It's going to reduce your chance of getting insufficient capacity errors if you're using on demand. To learn more, you can read the what's new. Now, finally, I want to tell you about Working Backwards, a new book by longtime Amazonians Colin Breyer and Bill Carr. I read a late draft of this book over the holidays and I really enjoyed it. It talks about the practices that help Amazon to, as we say, start with the customer and work backwards. It discusses our hiring and our communication practices. It does a deep dive into the beginnings of Amazon Prime, AWS, Kindle, and other offerings. If you've ever wondered how we do it, this book is for you. And that's all for today. As always, we look forward to your feedback. You can send us an email, a tweet, or you can leave a comment below. To see some more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel, click that bell for notifications. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.